Hey everybody, uh, Dr. Rick here. It's Friday, uh, making a quick move uh, before I uh, have to come back to the office and finish up my day. But look, um, real quick, uh, those of you who follow me know that we have been pushing uh, over the last few months for the fundraiser for the Black Man Lead Rite of Passage Initiative. Uh, we have not uh, had the progress or productivity in this fundraiser that we would have liked to have. Uh, it's pretty typical to what happens, uh, but the, the thing is, it's evident uh, that the program is ne more necessary now than when I created it uh, years ago. Uh, and it has evolved to meet the growing need and the expanding uh, suite of problems that young black males face and the ultimate reflection on society as a whole and the black community in specific. We are here right now to specifically ask you to contribute. We're doing a super push today. And on that super push, we want to raise $5,000 today. Be honest, I'd be happy to see a thousand just because of what I know typically happens. But hey, look, we can look at the past and we can sit up and say what did and what didn't happen or whatever. What I choose to do now is I focus my time on the solution. I spend very little time thinking about what we don't have, but I have to tell you what we need. And that's what I'm doing now. I sit up and I put in work. I give of myself every day. Uh, I have a saying that I share with my clients, that I share with viewers. If you watch my videos, whether you're watching something from the Visionetics Institute, Master Fitness 21, The Black Voice, uh, anything else, you're going to hear me say consistently that I live my life on full so that when I die, I, I, I die on E. And that's it with me and my life. I'm going to do the things I'm passionate about with everything I have. I'm not going to half step it. I'm going to give. I'm going to touch. What I can tell you is I'm getting an influx daily of young mothers and young fathers and, and even couples with young black boys that are going through all different types of things from struggling in school to anger issues to depression and suicidal ideation, some suicide attempts. Uh, I've had just in the last month and a half, uh, three of my clients with young black males who in their family who committed suicide. That's just this year. And, and you know, and it's a growing problem. Between 2013 and 2019, the rate of black male suicide between the ages of 15 and 24 jumped, for, jumped over 47%. That is absolutely astounding. We can sit up and we can talk and we can demean, we can blame, we can do a whole bunch of other things about what's going on with black men. But until we deal with these problems, we are a part of them. And you know, this isn't giving anybody that's done stupid uh, stuff a, a, a pass for the stupid stuff they've done. But what we gotta do is we gotta be preventative. We can sit up and talk about how horrible something is after it happens. But the problem is how, how many times have what we seen that we're complaining about been something that we could have prevented, something that we could have mitigated by simply being more proactively engaged in what was going on. How many times? I can tell you it's a bunch of times. I can't even in this short period of time go into detail of all of the things that we're facing that I have on the deck now that I'm trying to help families with, that I'm trying to come up with solutions with or that I'm trying to implement. Just the basic program of the rite of passage will change the trajectory of the black community in less than five years. It will absolutely transform it in 10. That's how powerful teaching young black males who they are and socializing them into their responsibility is. It reduces the proclivity for violence. It reduces, it reduces the proclivity to drop out of school and increase your risk of going uh, to prison. Uh, it, it increases pro-social responsibility in the community, in the home. It increases the chances of you parenting the children that you procreate and create. It Oh, I mean, so many different things, but we talk about all the things that are going on. Just the absence of fathers is a huge issue. Well, you don't change that by sitting up complaining about it. You change it by socializing young black males into the importance of being there. 
you you have to break the curse. You don't break the curse with some spell. You break the curse with a new approach to life, with a new way of inculcating ideas about who one is into the minds and the deepest recesses of the subconscious of young black males. That's what the program does. Then we talk about mental health. We talk about all these other things. Look, we need to stop sitting up thinking, saying, oh my God, shaking my head, that's horrible, that's sad. On, on, po on post, it's gonna change the reality of what's happened. We got parents bearing sons, we got parents bearing daughters, we have parents who are scared to live in the house with their sons. We've got all of this stuff going on and everybody's just sitting there. Now is the time to sit up and jump out and do something. This is gonna be an epic year for everything that's going on. This is gonna be an epic, epic year for my house. I've spoken over my kids. I've spoken over uh, uh, of my wife. I've spoken over our existence and we're doing things. We're seeing things. I see my 19 year old who at one point I just knew was gonna be living with us forever. Start her own business and, and become uh, actively engaged with doing something because we just kept feeding it to her. We 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 kept speaking into her life. We kept telling her things that she couldn't even see based off of what the results she was getting. We kept telling to her to now she is what she, we, uh, we understand in my house because I'm the leader and the person who's the leader has the understanding. And that is what we have to do. We have to execute the role of leadership in a way that's reflective of the fact that we're leader. Saying I'm a leader doesn't make you a leader. Saying I'm the head doesn't make you a head. Saying I'm a man doesn't make you a man. What makes you a man is being able to see your responsibilities and act in it. A part of my responsibility as a man is to make sure other men come up behind me. And so look, hey, it is what it is. I stayed on three minutes longer than I planned to. I'm, I'm jumping off. The link is in the description box. You can either do that or you can give to, um, the link is in the description box or you can give to um, our through our cash app account. And that, that cash app account is also listed in the description box. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day.